In this video, we are going to take a look at Zoho CRM, starting with the home screen all the way to the settings tab. When you open Zoho CRM, you start on the home page. Here you can see your tasks and other relevant information. If the home page view looks different, click here and change it to classic view. You can click here to personalize your task view. On the top bar, you can find the different modules of the CRM. The most common ones are leads, accounts, contacts, and deals. However, Zoho CRM has numerous modules that help with the different needs of the business. Click here to see more modules. Also, on the top bar, you can find these icons. Click on the magnifier to open the search bar that you can use to search for anything. The plus icon allows you to add leads, accounts, contacts, deals, and more. The mail and calendar buttons allow you to check your emails and calendar events from the CRM. The bell shows different notifications such as when someone opens an email you sent, completes a survey, and more. The wheel opens your settings. We will review it later. On the bottom bar, you can find the Zoho chat as well as some other features like reminders, sticking notes, and the virtual assistant, Zia. Let's open our contacts tab. To do it, click on it. This is a list of all contacts we have in the system. This view shows you some basic info about the contacts at a glance. You can add or remove the columns by clicking here. This column shows the filtering options. You can click here to hide it. Click on the contacts to open the contacts page. Here you can see the basic information as well as the detailed information. If you scroll down, you will be able to find related records like deals, projects, attachments, emails, and more. Click on the timeline button to see a view of the different activities and actions related to this contact. Let's open the accounts page. You can see the list of accounts that we have on file. Similar to contacts, you can see some basic info here. Click on any account to open the account page. Now let's open the deals page. The stage view is a default view. It shows the deals organized by stage. There are multiple columns that you can see by scrolling to the right. You can switch to the tabular view or list view by clicking here. You can also filter what deals you see by clicking on this arrow. Find the one that suits your needs and click on the star next to it to mark it as favorite. To open a deal, click on it. On the top, we can find all the stages. If you click on any of them, it will move the deal to that stage. Here is the basic info of the deal, like closing date. Scroll down to find more detailed information. To add or change information on these fields, click on the field, then type or select the information and click on the green button to save it, or click on the X to discard the changes. You can add notes to the deal here. Just click on the box, type your note, and click on save. Keep scrolling down to find more related information like projects, attachments, emails, and more. You can also use the left navigation menu to find the records faster. To see the events timeline related to this deal, click on the timeline button. Let's open the activities tab. Here you will find all the activities or tasks that you own. If you would like to filter the tasks you are viewing, click here and select a different filter. To complete a task, click here. If you would like to see more about a task, you can open it by clicking on it. You can also mark the task as completed by clicking on Close Task. Now we are going to use a search bar. Click on the magnifier to open it. Now type what you are looking for and press Enter. The results page will open. You can see that we have contacts, deals, and tasks related to the search we just did. Click on the result you were looking for to open it. The last thing we will review are the settings. To open them, click on the wheel on the top right corner. Here you can see all the Zoho CRM settings. Depending on the privileges you have, you will be able to change the different settings available. As you can see, there are numerous options. General settings will allow you to change your personal information and company information. 
The users and control will let you add or remove users and change users' privileges. Channels are where you can configure your email settings in Telephony. You can use a search bar to search for any settings. 